Hi, I'm Maria, and this is the Agile State of Mind. Welcome. So I'm back from vacation, hence the new swag. As I promised, you voted on Instagram for me to wear it. So here I am in my tracksuit. Actually, it's interesting because in Poland, we have this saying, like all life in a tracksuit, which is a philosophy of life in the Slavic countries. You can search it on the internet. So now I feel like a real Slav woman. Well, let's leave it at that. You can also follow me on Instagram here. This way we can have some more interaction. And today I would like to start a new series and this time on Jira. Jira setup and Jira administration tutorials. You probably saw on my LinkedIn. How is that going for me? Yeah, that's not the best time of my life, but I'm trying to recover from it with love. And I encourage you to do this also when you will start with your Jira project. But let's start from the beginning. What is Jira? Jira is a task tracking tool developed by Atlassian. It is intended to help the teams manage their work. And I will be learning to set up new projects in Jira. And that doesn't only mean to set up a new project and that's it. You have to make sure there are boards for the teams, how many boards per each project you want, create roadmaps. But actually something very cool about Jira right now. So there is also something cool about it. For that to work, you need to have some issue types and then some workflows for those issue types. You might want to have only default ones, but you also might want to have some custom ones. So all that I will be learning and I will be sharing with you here. Jira is no one's beloved tool. Unlike Miro, for example, you've seen how many people do some amazing stuff that they want to share voluntarily on the internet. With Jira, we share solutions to the problems that we find. So what's the problem? Because I don't want to be just complaining here. When I shared this post on Jira on LinkedIn, I got a lot of questions. What is your real problem there? Because people were willing to help. So where do I start? I think it would be faster if I say where I don't have a problem. So I already know how to do basic stuff in Jira. Like I know how to create boards, dashboards. I know how to use filters and this JQL, Jira query language, which is used for filters. And then we save the filters and then based on the filters, we create boards and so on. But recently I wanted to create a new issue type that is not default. I had to create a custom one. So I created a sub bug. We decided that we will use it in our teams. If you ask me now how I did it, I'm afraid I'm in no position to respond to that question. I have no idea. The other day I wanted to add another one and I had to dig into Atlassian community again. So that is my problem with Jira, that whenever you want to create a new subtask, for example, you go and you have a tutorial for creating a subtask. It's great, you created it, you're happy, but then neither of your teams can actually see it on their boards and you cannot use it. So that's kind of useless, right? And I was, I was digging again. So the good thing about Jira is that they have very efficient Jira community, which for me sounds a bit like wasting resources because instead of having a well-designed tool, they need to have a lot of people that respond on Jira community. But if you add a question there, you will be responding in no time. I was very surprised. So they are pretty efficient there. You know, it's like, where do you want to put the core of your business on the community answering people's query because they cannot perform a simple task or you want to have a good product. But well, most of us are stuck with what it is. So instead of again, complaining about it, let's find how we can solve those problems. So what's the solution here? I'm really doing these videos for myself. So I will be creating new projects, new boards, new issue types, and assigning them so that people can actually use them. So if I manage to actually create a project, I will need to create a few of those projects. I want for each product that we have to have their own project in Jira. So there might be a few teams for each of the project. And I would like that all those projects on high level share the same setup. So for any stakeholders that go from one project to another, on the epic level, it's all the same. 
when it comes to the team, their workflows, their boards, the teams can customize all of it. But I would like to keep this higher level of an epic, let's say, similar for all of those projects. So that will be what I will be doing here and I will be learning step by step and I will be sharing videos. And today we will start with just creating a new project in Jira. Of course, as you know already, it won't be of use for anything, but it will be created. And next step will be defining issue types that we want to use there. Sit back, relax, and try not to get too frustrated that creating a simple thing in Jira is a highly complex endeavor. Instead of going and breaking something in the Jira of my company, I can just as well do something on my private Jira it's for free, up until 10 users, I think. And then if it works, recreate it there. So let's see if that's actually the same Jira or not the same one. So as you see right now, I signed up, I registered with my Gmail. Today I open it and I see this. So I haven't even created a project yet. Recommend the project, answer a few questions so they can suggest that Jira works best. Let's try. I am, let's say, experienced with Jira. I am setting up Jira for my software team. Well, actually, that's not true. Software and business team. My team is experienced with Agile. We spend our time working on Twitter. We have a flexible schedule. Add project details. You can change these details anytime in your project setting. That's nice. That's good that we are not stuck with our project details. So you remember how that usually works. We create a new project that's normally the name of our product. So this is Jira Tutorial. Uh, whenever you create a new issue type, it has a number and it has those always the same abbreviation. So here I would like to just call it Jira. And that's cool. That's easier to remember. So that's what it is. And as you see, they already defined by what I said to them that I want a Kanban board and I don't want a Kanban board. Project templates. They recommend Kanban for me. There's also Scrum and Backtracking. Backtracking is usually if you create a project for support team, I want Scrum, okay? Use this template. You'll need to create a new project if you decide to switch project types later. Choose project type. Oh, okay, so this one, you cannot go back on this one. Team managed or company managed. Yesterday, I digged a bit into this. And what I understand is if you are like I am, like one team that you would just want everybody to be able to change everything, team managed is something you should go with. If you work in a company and there are many teams and you don't want anybody to break something because they accidentally click on it, it's better to create a company managed project and have somebody that will actually make sense of it. So we are selecting company managed projects here. Okay, let's create it. Let's see what happens. Select tools. Okay, you can connect later to some other tools. Invite your teammates. I don't want to invite any teammates right now because I don't have anything here yet. Quick start. Okay, so we are done with creating a project. As you see here, they have some tutorials for you when you start, which is cool. And then in the help, you can open this quick start again. So what I like is that we, as I said, roadmaps is one of the coolest things Jira has. We have backlog here, active sprints, of course, we have none. Then the default Jira board setup that we have just basically a workflow of to do in progress and done. That was easy. And this is also what you can go and find, create a new project in Jira. And that's basically what they will help you do. And of course, cool, it feels like, yeah, that's simple. I have a new project. What is very confusing for me is that we have settings here and we also have project settings here and we have to know which project settings to use for anything. My next step would be to define the issues. So here, if we go to issue types, we can see, okay, we have story, bug, epic, task, and subtask. Those are the default ones that Jira comes with. They are useful. But I will show you maybe the work that I did previous to even start with Jira. So what I wanted to do is to think like, okay, I have a project X, what I need for it, right? I need workflows, I need issue types, I need issue fields, people permission, GitLab automation, maybe some other Jira automation that I can do. So just creating a project is like, okay, I did this today. Right. And now what I am interested in is issue types. For example, do I want an initiative? I want an epic for sure. And a story. I already have that, but I also want a tag that I want a spike. Task is there, bug is there and a test. 
So I want some other issue types and I don't want to start my project without having them. Then for those different issue types, I would like to have different workflows. For example, Initiative and Epic, if I go for Initiative, would have a determined workflow. Story, Tech Dev, Task, and so on, will have another one. And then there will be also subtasks sub bug and a sub bug that I will create customly and sub test that will also follow a different flow because right now in my project everything follows the same flow and that's very complex and unnecessary so that's a big endeavor as you see to create stuff in Jira today we started with just simple one creating a project in the following episodes we will go through the workflow that I showed you we will work on issue types we work on uh, workflows for those issue types and setting basic boards for the team and also setting the roadmap because I would like all the stakeholders to be able to go and at any point see where we are looking at the epics in the roadmap. So that's all for today. I hope you'll stick around to watch more tutorials and together we will succeed in this journey. Make Jira useful for us. So it's not an obstacle, it's just a tool that helps teams do their work. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.